Hi, I'm Dale Smith, and I'm with Edwards Garage in Rocky Mountain House, Alberta. Uh, my boss tells me I have to make a video on a trailer, so I'm going to showcase the 280 KVS Titanium, uh, one of our most popular units that we have. If you're interested in getting into one of these units, I recommend you place your order right away so you'll have one for next year. Um, so we're going to start at the front of the trailer. It comes with a power stabilizer jack, two 30-pound propane bottles up front. Uh, we order all of our trailers in with this toy lock system so you can put your barbecue, bicycles, generator, whatever you want to lock down, lock her down right off the front of the trailer here. Going along the side here, we've got a full pass-through storage compartment. Um, inside you'll find switches for the auto leveling system. One button, down she comes. It's also got a battery disconnect for when it's parked so your battery doesn't go dead. A little light inside, we've got USB power ports and a 12 volt power port in there as well. So you can plug all your accessories in, no problem. On the side right up front here, we have a little uh, receptacle to plug in your portable solar panel. So up to 200 watts, keep the batteries charged up, what have you. The titanium is equipped with backup, with a built-in backup camera. New for this year are side angle cameras as well. So you got one on each side, see down the side of your trailer when you're backing into a tight spot or want to see how close to the edge you are, whatever like that, it's all right there for you. Um, they all have power awnings on them, thermal pane glass because you are a four season trailer. Um, good hard wall construction, very solid. In here we have a receptacle for your barbecue. I don't know if you'll be able to see it through there, but there's a quick connect to hook up barbecue or a gas appliance, whatever you want to have right off the side there. Also 110 plug-ins on the side. Um, underneath the awning, it's equipped with strip lighting, so it also gives you light. It looks really cool. So we've got aluminum steps on it, 16-inch low-range E tire, so a 10-ply tire. It's got 5,400-pound Dexter axles in it, six lug, and also the more rides uh, greasable shackles, so you don't get the squeaking and groaning as you're going through those windy camping spot parking spots there. Um, we'll head down to the back here. Oh, I should touch bases too. Also, the titanium model, you get a slide top awning. Both slides will have that top awning on it here. So that's that's pretty handy. Keeps debris off of your slides. Makes them go in and out nice and easy. Little extra storage back here. Um, it's fairly deep, so you can slide stuff up into there. Spare tire on the back. Heavy-duty ladder. We've got a two-inch receiver hitch on the back. Um, with that, you can put on a carry rack, firewood generator. If you got extra bicycles you want to pack, I've seen motorcycles off the back. So she's she's pretty good. She'll pack a load back there as well. Over on this side, we have this handy dandy feature, opened up quick. Uh, could double as a small storage compartment. What it's actually designed for is your garbage can to sit in here. And from inside, we'll get in the kitchen later. You can actually drop your garbage out through there. And Somebody else can pack it away for you. Dining room slide. On this side, we have our valves, gray water, black water valves. We're dumping our tanks. The connection is just underneath here. A uh, little work light. That, so if you get out of that campground a little later than you expected, you can still see the get rid of all that stuff. Uh, Sani flush is a black water tank flush right there, so you can hook your hose up there and flush all that stuff out. Um, right here, we got an outside water fountain there, so it's hot and cold. Small shower, cleaning stuff off, whatever you want to do. And city water fills over here, so that's just for your holding tank there. Um, holding tanks, 80 gallons US for the clear water. And then on your gray water tank is 60 gallons and 40 gallons on your black water tank. A little bit more storage in here. Should have had these all opened up before I come around. But same thing. It's pulled quite a bit. Lawn chairs, what have you. Right there. And then your pass-through storage from the other side. I left it open so you'll be able to see right through there now. Straight across. Lots of room. Magnetic latches, so no more plastic. Just clean her up, but she will stay there. Um, it's got the Duracoated front end to help keep with rock damage or anything like that off the front of your trailer. And same thing, a nice solid front cap on the front. We'll head on inside. I'll show you how she looks in there. 
Well, here we are inside. This is a beautiful trailer, 35 feet long, 34 feet, 11 inches. So we'll call it 35 feet. Gives you lots of room, opposing slides on it. Um, it's got the uh, sofa recliners in here. You can also order this with an optional uh, sofa bed. So if you didn't want to have the recliners, you could get that little extra sleeping capacity that way. Mountain dinette over here. Um, also makes down into a bed. Piles of room. Travel latches on all the drawers. They're all on rollers. 400 pounds. So you can stack a lot of stuff in there. <clears throat> no issues. Lots of room, as you can tell. I'm fairly good size, and I fit in here no problem. Um, over here, we've got the kitchen. So you've got a farm-style sink on it. Um, nice solid countertops in here, glass top on your fridge, beautiful windows, lots of light, um, convection oven, microwave on the side is down here, and then we've got a Dometic fridge in here, uh, eight cubic feet, I believe, is the measurements on that fridge. Um, also, lots of pantry space in here, as you can see, cupboards, a little extra storage down here, some smaller drawers, cupboards up here. We've got some drawers back here for your silverware, utensils, stuff like that. And also right down the side of the counter here, four more drawers. So lots of stuff, to, lots of places to put your stuff. Um, because titanium, it's equipped with a fireplace in it. Flat screen TV. Um, those TVs are also designed to run off of 12 volts. So you don't have to be plugged in for them to work. You can still work when you're, when you're out in the out campus spot off the grid a little bit. And again, more cupboard space up here. Your controllers here for your slides. Check your all your tanks. Turn your uh, heating pad on and your fresh water tank. That's all there. Because they're a Four Seasons trailer, there is a 12 volt heating pad on the fresh tank, so you could run that in the colder weather, early spring, late fall, whatever your guess is for camping. Um, fantastic fans in here. So they're all remote controlled. There's one in the kitchen, one in the bedroom, and I believe I'm going to double check, but I'm pretty sure there's one in the bathroom as well. So three fantastic fans in here, bed, bath, and kitchen. And we'll wander down the hallway here and have a look at the bedroom. She's pretty nice. So queen bed, 60 by 80. Uh, Mountain Comfort mattress. It's very comfortable. Um, comes with some pillows, duvet. We've got a cover for the vent cover up here if you're camping in the late fall. Keep it a little bit warmer. Huge wardrobe in here. I'm going to open this up just so you can see. Lots of room in there. And then you've got your normal cupboards on the side, drawers. Let's slide this. And more drawers here that you can get out, plus somewhere to stack all your stuff. There are USB ports on the side as well as 110 plugins, both sides of the bed, so you can plug all your devices in. Um, day night uh, blinds on them, so it keeps it nice and dark in here if you want to sleep in a little bit. The Titanium series does come with a TV in the bedroom. A Mountain series, you can add a TV. The Titanium, it comes with the TV already. Um, Furion uh, DVD, CD players in there. Radios, all that stuff is run off there. It accepts all your devices. We've got a little storage compartment here, or double as a little seat there if you want to sit down at the end of the bed for some reason. Now we'll carry through to the bathroom. It's got an ensuite bathroom, so you can enter through the bedroom or, or through the hallway here. One of the nice features of this trailer is you can actually access the bathroom on the side of the road, open the door straight in. You don't have to put any slides out or anything like that. It's got a corner shower on it, lots of room, skylight up there, a fantastic fan, lots of cupboards for your towels and what have you there, somewhere to hang stuff up, porcelain toilet on them, vanity mirror there, that comes with the titanium model. So you want to get your makeup done or your hair done just right, you're set, you can do her. And that pretty much covers the inside of this trailer. Any questions, give me a holler. I'm Dale at Edwards Garage. Looking forward to hearing from you.